We've got a found footage 3D film here where the filmmakers accidentally end up in it. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, it's a found footage horror film about the making of a found footage horror film that becomes a horror film of its own. It sounds almost comedic as well. Is, is there, are there elements in that? Yeah, the tone we were going for was sort of that of Scream. So, you know, funny and postmodern and self-aware, but also very scary. And, and found footage is such a, um, such a popular medium for, for, to show film, isn't it? What was it particularly for you that excited you about another found footage film? Yeah, well, I love that this one was a meta film and that we had an opportunity to, you know, sort of have it be a satire on low budget indie filmmaking while also being, you know, a send up of the genre and sort of really play with the medium. And for you, what is it that you personally love about horror? Uh, I just love the effect that it has on the audience and really the horror fans really, you know, there's no more passionate fan base. And so just their enthusiasm for, you know, the films and hopefully our film and so far our film has been, you know, is amazing. So, you know, for Fright Fest here, there's so many people who are up and coming filmmakers that, that want to be inspired by people like yourself. As a producer, what can you advise other future filmmakers and, and what, as far as producing terms are concerned, what, what should they look out for? Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, there's never going to be an end to the rejection that you face and you just sort of have to keep plowing ahead and believe in yourself and stay passionate and, you know, uh, don't get discouraged because there's light at the end of the tunnel always. And you're screening your film at Fright Fest, which is the, the, Europe's biggest um, horror festival. So what's that like being able to bring your audience actually uh, across the pond? Yeah, I mean, it's really amazing. This is our second, this is the second time the film will ever be screened for, uh, screened for an audience. And so I'm really excited to see what the European audience thinks of it. And uh, I'm really hopeful that they'll love it. And uh, yeah, it's been awesome to, you know, it hasn't screened yet, but, you know, I'm really excited. Can you tell us what the inspiration for the story was for you? Uh, you know, I, I, I love found footage movies when they're done well, and I hate found footage movies when they're done poorly. And so the idea was to sort of make a movie that made fun of, you know, the, the really shitty found footage movies while at the same time paid homage to the best of the genre, similar to the way that Scream did with slasher movies in the, in the 90s. And was it difficult to try and, and get funding to make a film like this? Uh, yes, it was very difficult. This being my first feature um, you know we, we we spent two years trying to raise the money from from private investors the good part of that is that it gave me two years to really hone the script and I think that was a that was a huge help to the eventual film so and when, you're, when you're making a fan footage film I'm, I'm thinking this is very much an ensemble piece really as well so was that exciting working with the actors as an ensemble I mean if there's one thing that I'm most proud of about the way this movie turned out it's the actors I think that they did an amazing job the six of them you know our six main actors came together and not only are they still good friends and hang out with one another but like they bonded on the set and 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 the chemistry was there in real life and so it translated to the screen and, and they just did an amazing, amazing job. So. And was there what, what was specific about this story as well that you wanted to tell? So, you know, at, at its heart the story is about this love triangle between these three characters, two brothers and, and one of their estranged wife. And so that to me was always sort of the heart of the story and, and, and you know, the, the horror stuff, the comedy stuff is all sort of built around that so that you know it, to me like I wanted to make a very character driven horror film and that's you know and I think that's very important as well isn't it and, and people sometimes take that for granted with horror that, that there is so much more depth and layers with, with characters and subtext to, to a film isn't there? yeah I mean that's my favorite kind of horror movie one of the best movies I, I saw here at the festival was Under the Shadow which was an amazing movie because it puts you in a world that most of us don't experience which is you know war torn Iran and you know, and the, the the characters in it were just so real and so vivid that that you really cared about them. And so when bad things happened to them, you felt horror for them. And to me, a lot of horror movies miss out on that because they you know they create characters that either you don't care about or you actively are like rooting against. And so I think it's I think it's something that I'm, I'm very again I'm very proud of about this movie that, that our characters are strong and the actors were able to bring it. If you want it, you if you've got characters that you invest in and the audience invest in, then there's 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 a bigger payoff when that when you lose them. Yeah, I mean there's you know there's a there's a, an old saying that like you know I can't remember the can't remember the saying but you know basically something bad happens to somebody else it's comedy if I stub my toe it's a tragedy 
it's true, actually. And you're here at Fright Fest, which is far from tragic, actually. It's exciting. Yeah, no, it's very, it's very exciting. It's really great to, to be here, and the, and the the fans are awesome, and the and the festival has been awesome to us. So it's it's we could not have asked for a better place for me to you know have the international premiere of my my debut movie. The script. Um, what was it about it when you when you first read it? F found footage 3D. Yeah, yeah. When I first first we got a breakdown, which just described what it was. And I was really excited because I really don't like found footage movies. You know, I think that every problem that we kind of make fun of and solve in this movie is my big issues. So I think anybody who hates found footage movies and anybody who loves found footage movies will absolutely love this movie. Because, I mean, for me, it was like, oh, I get to make fun of this thing that drives me crazy. Um, and I love Scream, the movie Scream. So it's kind of got that same vibe. When I, I talked to uh, Stephen over Skype. I was actually in London at the time and uh, we Skyped and, and he told me about it and I was just like, we talked for about an hour uh, and this was all in the audition process and it's like I wanted to make sure that he really was going for what I was hoping he was going for. So that worked out great for me. Because I was going to say, if it's a genre uh, or a particular part of the genre that you don't like, it, did, did it take a lot of convincing for you to get involved? Oh no! I mean, look. Once once Stephen told me what he wanted to do, I knew I'm I'm in for it 100. percent I mean, it's like uh, honestly, it's like a comic book movie. I would not be excited to be in a Marvel movie right now because they're kind of all the same thing over and over again. Now somebody needs to do this, which is why I love Deadpool so much, and even Guardians of the Galaxy. It's like when you see the original side being able to actually flex its muscles a little bit. It's super muscles because they're superheroes. You know, and it's just refreshing. So to me, it's like this is the kind of thing where I, I think we get to like defibrillate the genre a little bit. That's the, you know the clear come back to life. Horror fans all, all know that. <laughs> and um, I would imagine with this kind of film, did it did it uh, lend itself to improv? Oh yeah, there was there was uh, we got to do a lot of playing with uh, every scene. I mean, Stephen was brilliant in the fact that he had a really tight, solid script, and he cast great actors, me being the best of the group, obviously. No, everybody actually is phenomenal. Uh, but he, he cast this amazing group of actors who all were able to do, you know, we were doing like five, ten minute takes sometimes. And he kind of let us play. So it's like he then took us, this is the other brilliant thing he did, was he took us all out to the set for three days before we shot one lick of film. And it was like, we're gonna basically rehearse this thing and figure th stuff out. So there's scenes that, that absolutely did not work that we figured out in the rehearsal. So when it came time to roll the camera, it's like, oh, we know what we're doing. And I imagine it was quite, a, um, it was good for you guys as well to kind of get bond and build a relationship um, amongst the, the ensemble. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we immediately, the whole cast kind of realized that we absolutely hated each other instantly. Then we had an orgy. It wasn't a sex orgy. It was like, you know, just beer, drugs, uh, acid. That's when we had the light come on that said, oh, my God, we love each other now. We listened to a lot of Janis Joplin, Woodstock stuff. You know, the standard, like, bonding, free love. Uh, we still didn't like each other after that. But uh, he told us we had to. So... We bonded at you that bonded. point. Yeah. Uh, so much so the film got completed, and now you're at Fright Fest, presenting it in front of an audience. Is that exciting? Absolutely. I, I my favorite, my favorite audiences are, are people who dig horror movies. Because I think, I think, I think people who are really into horror movies, who really love horror movies, actually really love good movies. Because when you see a horror movie that's amazing, that all the ones, all the classics, The Shining, you know, all the Evil Dead movies. Uh, John Carpenter, you know, like they're funny, they're smart, they're scary as hell, and uh, and you know it's like it's a kind of movie that if you took the horror out of it, it would still work. There's so much more. There's such a lot of subtext actually within a horror yeah. movie. Oh, absolutely, and and I, I mean to me that's the thing. Like when you strip away the horror stuff, it's like this movie's basically about a husband and wife falling apart and the weird little love triangle kind of thing with the uh, with the brother, you know. And, and then all the people around. So, I mean, that's interesting as a comedy, that's interesting as a fantasy. Animated, I'd see it animated. Like with a big, like, monster, you know, creature. That would be fun. <laughs> it 